Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. Today we've got a 2020 Subaru Levorg, so stay tuned for this video. So this Subaru behind me is kindly supplied by Helensborough Subaru, so I'll leave their information below, and they're your Argyllon Butte retailer for Subaru. So here we've got a car that you may or may not have heard of, and as I mentioned it's called the Levorg, not Leborg, Star Trek pun. As you can see the front of it kind of looks like an Impreza Stroke STI. But quite a nice handsome face, this car was recently refreshed. Unfacelifted models had a 1.6 turbo engine with a little rally scoop in the front. This car's got a 2 litre naturally aspirated 4 cylinder boxer engine that produces about 150 horsepower and about 150 pound feet of torque. As you can see the front of it, quite a handsome stylish car. Quite like the front end, I really like this white paint, very Japanese looking. And you can kind of see that up close. I quite like the daytime running lights, how they like a C crescent shape. And you can see our designer mud because we were off road in the car earlier on. You'll see that later in the video. As you can see, it's a very handsome and subtle looking car from the front end. It balances that practicality and aesthetic look pretty well. Round the side, we've got two tone alloy wheels. And as you can see, they're 18 inch with quite a relatively low side profile tyre and all cars in the UK come in this GT spec which is the top spec trim we quite like this satin silver wing mirror reminds me of an Audi S car move around the rear you can see strong shoulder lines up the side we get a little bit down in the side skirt and around the back you can see that practicality that the state brings and around the back I think it really comes together nicely I quite like the twice pipes down below nice to see even for a 2 litre natural aspirated car and all Subarus come with a symmetrical all-wheel drive system in the Levorg lineup. So we'll go ahead and open the boot up underneath the Subaru badge, touch the little button. And inside we've got over 520 litres of boot space. Even enough for your Fulton Mason picnic camper for those ideal staycations. Got a nice flat squared off area is what you want from an estate. Got an easy to reach button to fold in the seats, to let them go. Like so, a little bit of a boot light in the back, a nice neat touch at night time, even a little bit of cargo netting at the side there for storage, and we've got storage underneath as well, and you've got a little parcel to shelf divider there to hide you any valuables, all in all nice decent sized space what you'd expect from an estate, pull the handle down, close up like so. You can see the way it's all designed and kind of sloping all these sharp edges, how it's designed to make it look a little bit sporty. Even got full looking carbon fibre down below in the texturised plastic in the rear diffuser area. And again, I quite like these lights. Quite a modern look, especially with the kind of silver strip going across. So we'll go ahead and jump inside the car. So you're greeted with this two-tone black interior with the blue stitching. Reminds me of all the Brexit Valley cars, really nice touch. Interior quality in the doors are pretty nice, it's one of the nicer Subaru models. Got black gloss plastic a little bit there, electric doors, mothers, etc. Door handle and chrome, and then we've got a decent size cubby there. Quite like the fact you've got a full filler cap on the floor, it's a quite a neat little feature. And you've got Subaru sill plates to remind you what car you're in. So we'll go ahead and jump in. So the car does have keyless going, you get this handsome looking key, quite weighty, quite like the aesthetic design of it. Foot in the brake, and push the engine start stopping the right hand side there. Gauges do their thing, you see Subaru Starlink come up, except and agree, and everything comes to life. Turn the radio off for a second. First thing I was greeted with and noticed was the fact you get this flat bottom steering wheel. I really like a flat bottom steering wheel, just A, means you get in and out of the car a bit easier. I think it looks a little bit sportier, gives you any kind of sporting uh, ideas in your head. Gauge cluster is really easy and clear to read. Kind of like that soft blue off white colour with white dials on the left with a tachometer. Speed on the right, fuel gauge, engine temp. We even have a little instrument display in the middle there for things like your lane departure warning, cruise control, etc. We're all hidden in there. I'll give the car a little rev. In 
and further down in the steering wheel you've got your audio controls on the left, telephone and the right hand side you've got your cruise control and I quite like the fact you've also got sports mode and individual mode, that touch of a button on the steering wheel quite handy to have without it being in a system or anything down here at your fingertips right hand side you've got your tyre set, you've got your traction control off and your dimmer switch for the instrument display and one thing I've noticed is they've got a really high premium interior in here I'm not sure if anybody had preconceptions of Subaru maybe having scratchy plastics but this is really rubberized and quite nice and they've also got a little bit of stitched kind of rather of vinyl up on top and in the centre display we've got two screens the top one there is telling your fuel consumption and it also acts as a camera so if I pop into reverse so while you're in reverse you get your front camera and the smaller screen up top and you get the reversing camera and the larger screen down below climate controls, your hazards almost looks like, uh, like a bejeweled item there touch screen, pretty fast, pretty responsive as you can see switch through anything in the audio system sounds quite good as well easy to read and you're easily going to jump in this car and know where things are fan speed nice and easy to use, you can leave it auto if you wish most people do, but you can do manual as well defrost, rear defrost, again touch the button nice, easy to use and I quite like the fact they're kind of gnarled as well a little detail on the sides and you probably wear your winter gloves and still be able to use that, no bother and just below this you've got your USB ports and your 12 volt power outlet there a little bit of storage in there for your smartphone and here's the automatic transmission or CVT gearbox and it's the sole option in the Lavorg in the UK Again, we mentioned all the way back for cameras and to reverse and to drive and we'll see that when we're out on the road Auto hold, electric parking brake, stop start can be defeated at a touch of a button I quite like it on to save a little bit of fuel when you can Heated seats a necessity on a cold Scottish winter's day I quite like the fact these cup holders are here nice and deep a little bit of rubberized texture to hold in your cans and your bottles and a tray if you did want to hide them and under here a little bit of storage again more charging ports and USB ports and it's lined with the fuzzy stuff so nothing's going to rattle around from there the armrest itself is very padded and softly sponged so you can put your elbow there and relax on a long drive and speaking of relaxing we've got nice well bolstered seats as I mentioned I really like the blue stitching uh, contrasting with the black leather Nice shoulder pass, kind of reminds me of the M uh, sports seats you get in some of the BMW M Sport cars. Nice white bolstering, and as I said, the light stitching. The quality of the weather is pretty nice as well. And they are heated, which is a bonus, as well as being electrically adjusted. Maybe a car's a Glasgow review without the glove box, so softly damped. And it's got some tips in there, so you can see how large it is. Nice big, decent size, no fuse box interfering with it. It's handy for load trips as well, keeping your snacks. And as I mentioned, the overall feeling of the car is it's one of the most premium models within the Subaru lineup. You may notice a little eyeball looking things that look like Mike from Monsters Inc. We've got them on the right for your speakers, for your microphone. And overall, quality car up front. Headlining as well, and the sun visors are nice and spongy. Nice soft materials, Japanese seem to do that well. The car has eyesight as well, so when you're out on the road, it's almost like a second pair of eyes for you. We'll jump in the back and you can see you've got tinted windows or sun protection glass. As I mentioned, you can fold these seats flat. Nice cavernous road blue. It would be even if I could speak. Push that little button like so. And you've easily got child seat anchors, which is going to be handy for any parent for child seat location. Nice wide area as well to get in. Important fact, jump in. Car set up for my driving position. Decent enough knee room. Might be a little bit dark, we can turn on the light. Headroom for myself is decent as well, got a nice cut out there. Shoulder room's good and the seats are still comfortable as well, which is quite nice. And you've got enough room for three in the back, however, I'd probably have two and have the armrest down. You've got little cup holders there, you can enjoy yourself on a drive and you get a good view out the front of that dash. And the greenhouse itself is pretty decent as well for any kids. And Subaru have been kind enough as well to give us some charging ports via USB chargers there so kids can charge up their iPads, iPhones, etc. 
I've got little map pockets at the back there, which probably nowadays are going to be stored again for holding your iPad. But nice to give you storage on both sides. Door quality plastic. Again, rubberized, quite nice textures. And you've got that blue and black stitched red on the sides. And open the doors because the windows are tinted, so you can see. So they've done their best to liven it up with a little splash of silver and enough for a bottle of juice in there as well. So you join me inside the Subaru Levorg on our drive, all the way down to D for drive and we'll head off. So all cars in the UK come with this 2 litre naturally aspirated uh, boxer engine by Subaru. Produces about 150 horsepower, just above. Gets you to 0 to 60 just below 9 seconds. And all cars also come in this GT line, which is a top spec, means you get your leather seats and all that jazz. Also, being a Subaru thing, we also get the symmetrical all-wheel drive system, the standard. Means you're sure footed in this unpredictable weather we have in Scotland. We're on our wee bit of back road, you might see some clips of fast lane base behind us. As we go down this, this Ross Beef Road, they're calling it on the sat nav. Twisty, kind of Scottish back roads. We're going to test out how the car handles. So, around the bends, the car's handling pretty flat. A uh, little bit of good directional steering. Don't expect the WRX STI levels of engagement in this kind of car, that's not this car's mission. It's definitely a comfortable cruiser. You don't feel like you're driving this state or anything of this size. Like the visibility, you've got quite thin A pillars, you've got little bits of glass just beside the mirrors to see out. This Subaru is fitted with the eyesight, which also acts as like a second pair of eyes to help with road detection. And we've also got things like a lane departure warning and adaptive cruise control as well. So when you get over a line, you'll see little yellow lights pop up on the dash. And your radar cruise control sets the car distance in front of you, and as that accelerates and brakes, it will also accelerate and brake. A bit of foot down around the bends. You can see pretty comfortable. Relatively hush ride, we've got the radial off and the air conditioning down to kind of maximise audio performance today. It's not that harsh a riding car, not the most comfortable car in the class, but definitely not harsh riding. And you do have driving modes on the steering wheel, I quite like in the S or sports mode just to give you that little bit more engagement. So I just want to say thanks very much for watching this video on the Subaru Levorg. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in the Subaru Levorg or this particular one, make sure you go and check out uh, Subaru Helensborough, as this car's actually up for sale at the moment. I think it's just around £23,000. Uh, so if you're up for that car, go and check those guys out. And also, if you're looking at Subaru Levorg, you might be comparing it to other small cars, like maybe the Ford Focus Estate, kind of X-Active model, and the Volkswagen Golf Alltrack, and maybe the Mark 7 model at this point, I've not seen that in the Mark 8, but that's the kind of car that competes with your four-wheel drive system, small estate car, and if you're looking for something reliable, you can't really go much further than this, uh, so make sure you check it out. And hopefully I've shown some light onto a car or a Subaru they might have not known that existed, I didn't know until a couple of weeks ago, uh, I've just totally missed under my radar and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So as I mentioned, give me a like, subscribe to Cars of Glasgow below, and I'll see you next video. Ciao!